Welcome, my name is Dan from Headside Inc. Today we'll be installing a four sensor terrace mount kit on a Shellborn header on an 088 series combine. Before you install any sensors on the head, we strongly suggest that you follow the safety tips in the manual. Perform all combine and header manufacturer safety tips, installing the stop on the feeder house, turning the combine off and removing the key, and then setting the parking brake on the machine and disconnecting all drive shafts from headers. And here are some of the tools that we will need for today's installation. A set of drill bits, some combination wrenches, uh, cordless impact would be what we would prefer to use for speed, uh, cordless drill, some metric sockets, some American sockets, and some open end wrenches. And here's the parts we'll be using today for our four sensor terrace mount kit. Our extension leads, our main harness, mounts for our sensors, our paddles, which we send an extra set when you wear the first set out, attaching hardware, terrace mount tubes, the sensors, and the insight box. We're going to install the terrace mount sensor now. Of course, you can see we removed the shields from the left hand side. We installed the parking stand. You will also have to remove the two back existing hardware bolts and then we provide all bolts and hardware in our kit. You install the tube, install the bolts. You may have to drill out or enlarge this hole. Do not forget to put the three washers between the tube and the mainframe. Now we're going to install the sensor onto our bracket. It's very important that you put the short end of the spring up, the long end down against the tube. Then install the snap ring on the opposite side. Once that's done, we put our leveling bolt and we put an extra clamp up here. Now we're ready to install our paddles. Note, they get two different lengths in the kit. The short ones go in the center, the long ones go on the outside in the terrace mounts. Let's install it on the sensor now. Now we completed installing the outside terrace mounts, we have to do the inside sensors. This is a 32 foot Shellborn header. We have three spaces, so we need equally spaced the sensors, which would be approximately 10 feet per sensor. It's very important to do that for your best header height control protection. And now we're ready to mount our inner sensors. We get our L bracket and install the two carriage bolts in the back for the proper spacing. We install it on the two. Then we mark our holes. We're ready to drill. Now we're ready to install the L bracket. Note there's two holes. We suggest using the lower one and install both carriage bolts this way. Now we're going to install the sensor onto the bracket. Do not forget the short tail of the spring goes up, the long goes back towards the bracket. Once again, put your leveling bolt in the top, level the sensor. Now we have the sensor mounted to the bracket. We're ready to install it to the L bracket. Now completely tighten all hardware. Now we're ready to install the short arms on the inner sensor. And don't forget to install your sensor shield right here. If you would have ordered a standard sensor kit versus the terrace, the standard outer sensor would be mounted here just like the inner ones were. Now we're ready to install our wiring on our terrace sensors. Note here that we have a connector inside the tube we secured the 
connector together and then we installed a zip tie around it to keep it from coming apart. Then as it exits the tube, we secure it with clamps here, here, and here, keeping it out of the war zone of the wheat stubble. It's very important to do this or it will shred the wiring. Once you come up, we fasten it with zip ties, following the existing harness here, all the way back to either the top tube or installing it in the bottom tube, whichever you desire. In some cases, in our wiring, it is required to move this end. Um, we want to show you the proper way to do that. So here it is. Step one is to remove this clip, insert the tool, then pull the wire out. That allows you to do each one this way. Make sure to note there's an A, B, and C to put the wires in the right order. Once you have the connector removed, you're ready to install again. It's very key to take the tool and flare these little tabs back out on both sides. Now that it's ready to be installed in connector. When it's installed correctly, you can hear it click, and then the last step, reset the lock. We're ready to start our wiring for our center sensors now. We locate the closest skid plate to the sensor. For this shot, we removed the skid plate so you can see what we're doing here. We took a quarter inch bit, drilled a pilot hole in the back tube in the center of the skid plate. Then we enlarged it with an inch and three quarter hole saw, which we provide in the kit. Once you've drilled the hole in the back side of the tube, now fish the wiring through both holes and up along on top of this channel to the sensor, securing it to the sensor, and then securing it with two zip ties in the center of the skid plate. Once that is done, install the grommet in the hole to protect the wiring from the metal. Also note, this is a new head, but wheat stubble is running here, so this is a war zone that can destroy the wiring. It's very key to keep the wiring up and out of the war zone. Just like the front side of the header, the rear of the header we have to install the grommet in the large hole to protect the wiring. Now we installed the inside box on the back of the header using a bracket that we provided in the kit. We installed the main harness into the inside box and very key note is installing the wires correctly into our pigtail. This is a five sensor lead. We are only going to use four today but starting with you setting in the seat of the machine this is the left outer sensor connector, the left center the center connector, which we're not using in this application today, right center, and right outer. Depending on which machine you have, will be determine if you need an inside box or which main wiring harness you have. Today we had a Case IH which requires an inside box and this main harness, but you need to refer to your owner's manual to determine which harness you need. This concludes our installation of our four sensor terrace system on the Shelbourne header today. If you have any further questions, don't be afraid to look at our manual or please give us a call.